We are looking at a heating plant that is protected by a static pressurisation system with a membrane expansion vessel. The manometer indicates a pressure of 1.5 bar in the system's cold state. When the boiler is switched on and the water heats up and expands, the pressure increases, for example to 2 bar. Water is forced into the vessel and compresses the gas on the other side of the membrane to 2 bar. The membrane deforms in the areas of the connection nozzle, creating a space for the rising water. If the system temperature continues to rise, the pressure also increases and the membrane continues to deform, allowing the heating water to flow into the vessel. The membrane must be extremely elastic, which results in a partial gas permeability, known as loss of pre-pressure. Now we are looking at the same plant where a static pressurised system with a butyl bag is installed. Also here the manometer displays a pressure of 1.5 bar when the system is in cold state. Again when the boiler is switched on, the water heats up and expands resulting in a pressure increase to 2 bar for example. Water is forced into the vessel and compresses the gas inside to 2 bar. The butyl bag expands evenly to give space to the incoming water. If the system temperature continues to rise, the pressure also increases. So the butyl bag stretches further and water can flow into the vessel. Because of the bag being made of a butyl material, which is less permeable than other commonly used materials, the system is better protected from a loss of pressure. It is also better suited for frequent expansion and deflation in a temperature changing environment.